As we mentioned earlier, the primary elections, they wrapped up yesterday, so now it's time to focus on the general election, which will be here before you know it. Here on Good Morning Florida Keys, we'll continue bringing on the candidates so you can get to know them a little bit better and hear more about their qualifications. With that being said, I want to introduce you to one of your candidates for Mosquito Control Board District 3. Stephen, thank you for being on the show with me today. Thank you, Jenna. I appreciate the opportunity to get my message out. You're welcome. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. And I'd like you to start by telling our viewers a little bit about your background, Stephen. Uh, I think I had a pretty typical childhood growing up. I grew up in the Atlanta area. I had an older, older brother and a younger sister. My mom was a homemaker and my father was a minister. Uh, so I, pretty much my childhood, I would say, I grew up in the Atlanta area until I went to college. Okay, and now you're here in the Keys, and yes. you're running for a position for the first time. Stephen, why did you decide to do this? Well, there were several reasons. Uh, I believed that the judgment, the, the votes were coming from the Mosquito Control Board were not that of the residents of Monroe County. That's not what, I didn't feel like that we were getting the representation that we should have. And, and mm -hmm. Uh, I want to be able to offer good judgment, make good decisions that are going to benefit the, the residents of Monroe County. Okay. Now, what would qualify you to be in the position to make those decisions, Stephen? Well, uh, I have worked. Uh, after uh, I did obtain my college degree from Sanford University in Birmingham, Alabama, and I did major in business and economics and finance. So I believe the economic and finance part would be beneficial during the the budget process, which the, the current board is actually doing right now. The, uh, after I got my college degree, I did go on back and obtained my MBA or Master in Business Administration. And when I completed the, the, my master's, I started working with the first Fortune 50 company that I worked for. In total in my career, I've worked for four Fortune 50 companies and learned an insurmountable amount of uh, knowledge that I could never have gained. And then from there I went on and started my own successful company. Mm -hmm. uh, and I ran that for about 12 years and then got, came on vacation to Key West. Mm -hmm. so and couldn't leave. Couldn't leave, <laughs> <laughs> right, the story goes for so many people. Right, right, okay. Now what would be your major goals, two or three primary goals, Stephen, if you were to be elected? Well, I think one goal has to be the, the safety and health of the Monroe County residents, the, the tourists and the business owners. Our, our number one charge is for health safety reasons for all of these mm -hmm. uh, individuals. And that, should ne that, sh that goal should never change. The, that's what the board should always do. I think the second thing we need to do is possibly uh, look at the most effective ways to control our mosquitoes and make sure that the money that we're being spent, and this money being spent it is the taxpayer's money, mm -hmm. and I, I would always be mindful of whose money is being spent and, and make sure that the money being spent is going to the, to the programs that we feel like are best eradicate the, the different mosquitoes. You know, and there's one other thing that I would like to do. That mm -hmm. it, the, the cost, right now we do not have a, a televised uh, proceedings from the boardroom. Mm -hmm. I know it's an expensive cost. I know it's come before the board before, but I feel like that this is something that we really need to look at again. And mm -hmm. if uh, one instance is Hometown PAC has put on a lot of programs, and they're quick, and when the candidates are through talking within the day or two, Hometown PAC has those on YouTube, and it's a link you go right into, and you would be able to observe the, mm -hmm. uh, the entire board meeting from the day or two before. Uh, I don't believe those costs are very expensive. Uh, it would be... Uh, certainly a, a way that we could look at getting these possibly televised. There would be a link on the Mosquito Control Board's uh, website mm -hmm. that you would just click on and you would then see the proceedings. Uh, but I know we're trying to control cost and, and I know the equipment can get expensive, but um, I think it's something that we do need to look at again. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing all your goals and your qualifications. And Stephen is running for November 4th, so I know he would appreciate your vote. <laughs> November 6th. November 6th, yes. excuse me. That's Thank good. you again for sharing all this Thank information. Thank you, Jenna. I appreciate it. That's going to do it for us today, everyone. I appreciate you joining in. Please join me tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay. 
it'll be okay And that's what she says And that's what she tells me